Welcome back to another redstone video. Today I'll be showing you how to use each of the redstone components, or almost all of them. So let's get to it. Alright, we're going to skip this one for now. We're going to go on to the lever. The lever is a thing you can just flip on and off, making um, anything get powered. Next, we have the dispenser. Dispenser, we have a few arrows. Dispensers will shoot anything that is in them. So you can see arrows start flying out. If you're standing there, it would hurt you. Note block. So note blocks will make noises when you um, power them. Piston. Um, so this is a sticky piston. Sticky pistons are a bit different than pistons. They can actually pull stuff and not just push. So if you look at this, you can pull. See, it's not coming off. With a piston, if you push it, it does not come back like that. Okay, TNT explodes, um, and so I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to explode my world. So this is a jukebox. So if you put a disc in it, oh whoops, there's already a song in it. There we go. So if you go like that, it'll start playing music. It's not, uh, it's not really redstone, but I feel like I should put it in. So, um. Pressure plates are, if you stand on them, they're, they're like a lever, except for they don't power by flipping at the lever. They just power by standing on it. So like this, powers. Like that. Okay, so the next one is the redstone torch. Redstone torches are really handy. Um, I'll show you this first. So redstone torches are like inverters. So there's no power, but they're powering. But if they get powered, they turn off. So with the lever flipped on, it's off now. But if you turn it off, there's power. You can also use this for torch the torch chains. So you can see how that's powered. Um, it's powered because this torch powers this, turning it off, allowing this one for to be on. Turning off this one, allowing this one to be on. But now if we flip it, you can see that this turns off, inverting it, turning it off. Okay, the next one is a button. It's like a lever. Um, or more like a pressure plate, except for you just click and then it turns off on itself. So the next thing we have is a dropper. Droppers are often mixed up with dispensers. Droppers just drop the item. Instead of shooting it, you can see that it's just an item now. I can just pick it up. So the next we have is a hopper. So if I put an, if I throw an item onto this, oh, we have a few wandering traders. Um, if you throw an item onto this, you can see it comes into here. So if you can have this at a bottom of like a mop farm to collect drops to put into chests or something like that. Next we have is a redstone block. Redstone blocks can power redstone. You can see it just powers it like that. Okay. Next we have the daylight sensor. So daylight sensors sense daylight. So since it's um, the day right now, it's the um, it will put out a redstone signal. But let's say we put it to night. You can see that, no, it's not quite all the way night yet. Okay, there we go. So now it's off. But if we put it to night, now it'll push. So it can sense day or night. If it's like the blue, then it'll sense if it's night, and it'll put a redstone signal. If it's kind of the yellowish, whitish cream, it will only put out if it's day. Let's turn it back to day now. Okay, next we have the trapped, no, yeah, trap chest. So trap chests, when they open, they'll put out a redstone signal. So if we open it, you can see that it shoots out an arrow. So this is good for trapping things. Um, this right here, I'll show you in uh, just a bit on how to do that. The next we have is a tripwire hook. Tripwire hooks, uh, if you get two tripwire hooks crossed like this and put a string in the middle, it's just a piece of string, you can place it down. If you walk over it, it will activate some redstone. And so you can put this, If you, you can hide it pretty well, and you can just walk over it, and it will shoot. Next we have is the redstone lamp. Now, redstone lamps, they're very similar to any other lighting source, except they only turn on if they're powered, like this. 
So these are really good to hook up with daylight sensors so that if at night, only at night will your lights turn on. Next we have fence gates. So fence gates you can just open with your hands or with um, redstone. Um, next we have a trap door. So trap doors just like the um, um, fence gate you can just open with your hand but you can also do it with redstone. It's like that. So next we're actually going to skip ahead to comparator. So comparators can sense the value of something. So um, so if you put it right next to a chest, just a normal chest, you can put, if you, the more items you can put in, you can see over here how um, there's more redstone is starting to expand. So if you put enough items in a chest, or anything for that matter, you can see it turns on. Okay? So now if we go back to a lectern, it doesn't have to be just items, okay? So, um, you can also sense, for example, lecterns. So lecterns, if you put a book in it, um, if you flip a page, you can see how there's a bit more redstone now. And you can see that it's all the way out to here now. And so you can make um, traps or something like that. So the more pages, you, the more you flip through, the more it will um, power. Now, if we go to redstone dust, just redstone dust, it extends what the, um, how much it can, or where it can power. So normally, if there was no redstone dust here, it would not power that. But if you put some redstone dust in the middle, it will power it. Next we have the repeater. So repeaters, um, if repeaters were the same as redstone, like if this is redstone right here, see they power at the same time. But now, if we put this here, um, there's just a bit of a delay. You can't really tell right now. But if you click it more, it's the longer it will delay. See, so if you see like only two, it'll go like that. But if you have it like three, it's all, it has just a bit longer. And you can chain those together. Um, next, we have the oak, or just door. Um, so doors, you can open it with your hand or with redstone. Though iron doors... You cannot open it with your hand. Oh dang it! Um, you cannot open it with your hand, but you can activate it with redstone. So next we have is an observer. So observers, um, they detect things. So you, um, the kind of like the thing right here that looks like a face. If this thing, if anything happens in front of it, it'll give a redstone signal out on the other side. Um, so now, if you can see, let's say we place a block right here. It'll power it. See how it's like place? It'll activate. Break. You'll also activate. So that's how um, they work. So iron trap doors are just like um, trap doors, except for they can't open with um, just clicking. You have to use redstone to activate it. So next is a slab. So a lab, a slab isn't inherently a redstone thing, but it can do something different than than just blocks can. So if you look at this, if we power this, um, it'll go up like this. It'll just go up like this and power up here because of the little gap it has right here. But with blocks, you can see it powers this, doesn't power this, doesn't power this, just because it's solid right here. So those are that's really nice for making chains going up, just like the torch tower, tor the torch tower over there. So next, we are going to go back to the slime block over here. So slime blocks are bouncy, okay? So if you stand on it, um, like this, and power the piston, you can see there's piston over here, so it'll, like, bounce you up, um, it just bounces you up into the air, okay? And so, but the, what they also do is they're sticky. So if you place blocks on it, like this, you can power it, and the blocks will go up with it. And this, if this wasn't here, see? Okay, so now we're going to go back to the end, and I'm going to show you, so not just um, the actual like um, redstone components themselves, but different things that you can do with them. So if you see right here, you have a repeater going into a block, and then like this with redstone back here, okay? So, the repeater can power this, which goes like this. So re the repeater can put redstone going through blocks, which will power this, which will power that. With this, you can see that it does not power. So, if 
we go on to the next idea is this. So if you power a block, you can see this redstone is going over top of it right here. These, this redstone will power this. So that noise doesn't do anything by itself. But if you put pistons or dispensers or anything like that, it can actually power it. But it also powers the block below. So um, because of this redstone, it'll power this block. And then this block will also power here. So it'll power all of this. Okay. So this is nice in my tree farm over here. Um, I actually use that for that if you watch that video. Um, next we have observer um, repeaters, I guess. Or not repeaters, but um, observer clocks. So they're very fast. Whoa. Um, and so the two observing sides are together. So you can see that observes and that observes. And so they observe each other and go back and forth doing that. So you can do it like that. I used it also. I used this also in my tree farm to for bone meal. And so I just turn it off like that. Okay. So the next thing we have is a flying machine. Flying machines <clears throat> are very useful. In fact, I used it in my tree farm over there. So what this can do is the slime blocks stick to these. You see, and so then the observer is up here. So if I give a, so if I place something right here. You can see it starts going. So how it works is when this piston pushes because it's powered by this, um, it'll push the um, the uh, push the slime blocks, which push these two blocks. And in doing that, it powers this, which tells this to come back. And so then it'll just work just like that. So see, what you can also do is use these as like elevators. You can stand on them. And I'll take you down or up or left or right, stuff like that. Okay, so next what I'm going to talk about is the push limit. So pistons can only push so many blocks. They can't just push everything. So um, the limit is 12 blocks. So right here is 12 blocks. As you can see, if I push it, or if I flip the lever, you can still push it. But if I do it with this, this is 13 blocks. It does not work. Okay, next is the idea that you can get comparator outputs from through a block. So this comparator may not be touching this, but can still get a redstone signal. So if you see this, I can go like this, put a few things in, and now it's powering, okay? So the next thing is, is you can actually get comparator outputs from different things besides chest. You can get from furnaces, dispensers, um, lecterns, which I showed over there. But you can also get it from cake. So if you take a bite of cake, um, if we watch the redstone signal, the redstone signal will actually start getting smaller as we eat more of the cake until the cake is all gone but there's um and then there's no redstone signal so that um wraps it up in my redstone showing how it works thank you for watching consider subscribing leave a like and comment below